This is Craig for Area Shifty Bun. Just a very short video review today for the 2000 film Tears of the Black Tiger. I have absolutely no experience of Thai cinema and I watched this film purely in the strength of the excellent trailer running in the background. It's a loving homage and parody of old studio westerns. It's very accessible and very, very insane. The Black Tiger is the best shot in a group of bandits led by the notorious Phi. His allegiance is tested with the reappearance of his childhood sweetheart Rumpui, betrothed to the captain of the army set to take down Fai's men. That's the basics, look further for class struggle and double crossing dealings of villainy. The plot's merely an excuse. What's infinitely more interesting is the way in which the film was presented. Colour manipulation gives the appearance of a garish technicolour dream world, both vibrant and disturbingly artificial. It makes for quite an engaging visual experience. Unfortunately, I did watch this film on a VHS tape. I think we should be championing this one for Blu-ray, as I think the colours would really pop out and would be closer to the director's original intent. There's some uh, very high-kicking action to balance out any melodramatic moments, of which there are many. People get shot in this movie, a lot. Squibs fly everywhere, adding to the colour canvas. And there's a few instances when the violence heads for a gross comic value which leads me to wonder just what the heck the director was going for tonally. But as a pastiche of westerns, there's some fantastic play with the score, which I describe as more corny light, and it's interspersed with saccharine keyboard-driven ballads. However, with the violence going beyond Leone and entering a sort of Tarantino level of carnage, we're looking at a film that's aesthetically split. But by no means does this uh, make the film a failure. There's enough stylistic flourishes to see it through. A great little moment of whimsy shows the tiger playing a flute in front of the most absurdly painted sunsets imaginable. Another moment sees the black tiger taking down an awkwardly placed enemy with a single whizzing bullet ricocheting around the room. The scene halts and a title card flashes on screen saying, did you catch that? If not, we'll play it again. And then it does just that. The film was anachronistically suspect, but then you have to remember that it's geographically suspect too. It's this playful nature and the fact that it has great affection for old studio pictures that makes the film an overall winner. The director's name, which I believe is Wizit Sasanti Yang, sorry for any mispronunciation, he's ultimately having a laugh with this Thai Western, and taken like that, it's very infectious. <laughs> 